Hi there, this is Mark Haddad here again. In this lecture, I'm going to show you how we can connect to the Juniper device. Now, someone can say, which device should it buy? So actually, I'm going to show you here some of the devices that I have. So I have this device, which is SRX210. So you can see it over here, this is SRX210. So this device, I bought it a used one. So actually for this course, please, you don't need really to buy new equipment because Uniper equipments are somehow expensive one. So you can just go to eBay, for example, and you can find a lot of uh, used products that you can get. So this is a used one that I bought it. I really paid only 20 euro for this one, plus shipment, of course. So 20 euro is not too much of money. Then I have this one, which is a Juniper SRX210. But also, I have bought some others. So I have also another one, because we need to have two uh, Juniper products for this course. So I bought uh, one smaller, so you can see this is SRX100. So SRX100 also cost me something like 20 euros. So all in all, I paid with the shipment something somehow like uh, 50 euros, so that's more than enough. And I have also a third uh, Juniper as well, but we are not going to use it for this course. So actually, if you want to buy, uh, buy something, you just get some SRX100, for example, even though that it is end of life. So Juniper, they don't support it anymore. It's end of life, but we can still connect to the Junos. Uh, so we can still do the configuration. And this is really cheap devices. You can buy them from eBay, for example, or any other marketplace then uh, you can uh, have uh, the labs that uh, you we want to do in this course. So these are the products that uh, um, I have. Now, how can we connect to those products? Actually, you should have a console cable. And let me show you, I have here a console cable with me. So actually, this is the console cable. You can see that uh, the console cable has uh, two sides. You have an RG45 from one side, and this is the serial from the other side. This, you put it on the console port of the Juniper router. On the Juniper router, I will show you in a moment, there is a port which is written under it, console. So you connect it to the console port of the Juniper router, and this one, you put it on your computer. Now, in case you don't have serial on your computer, because the new computers or new laptops, they don't have serials, so what you need to do is to get a converter which is converter from serial to usb you see that is serial that is usb so you just put this one over here in the console so we, uh, let me show you how so we connect it you can see that this is connected and then i take this cable which is the usb i put it on my computer this one i put it on the console port of the juniper router all right, so where is the console port? So let's take this device, for example. You can see this is the console port. This is the first one. It's written under it here, console. So you just put it on the console port and then put the converter and then connect to the USB from your computer and power it on and that's it. Then you have access to the Juniper from the command line. Now, in the upcoming lab, what I'm going to do, I'm going to connect this uh, to my computer, but those routers again, they are used one and uh, they have password. So they are protected uh, with the password for the root. So what I need to do, I need to make the uh, password recovery. So uh, the first thing that I'm going to do in the upcoming lab is uh, because we have to connect to it, is to explain to you and show you how you can do root password recovery. So uh, we can have uh, the password uh, that we want. We put the password ourselves for the root. And then also I'm going to show you how you can load the default configuration because again, this is a used device, so it has already some configuration on it. I don't want any configuration from the uh, company that had this uh, router. All right, so what I want is just, I want to load the default configuration because Juniper provide us default configuration so we can load it. And then after that, we have uh, the router as it is reset it. All right, so that means like we have it from out of the box. So this is what we are going to do in the upcoming lecture. Now, with this router, I'm con going to connect to it. I'm going to show you how you can do the, the uh, password recovery and then to load the default configuration. And then we are going to see if this is going to work for us. So see you in the upcoming lecture.